Hello all, uh, this is Yogesh from Take Your Out Automation. Uh, today in this video, we are going to see the uh, flashing procedures of ESP Home into the Sonoff TX Ultimate Touch Switch. The purpose of installing the ESP Home into the, uh, the device is to bring that particular devices into Home Assistant interface. So that's what we need it. So the main focus of uh, bringing the devices into Home Assistant is so actually the persons who are all using the home assistants will know that it will works locally once the device we are bringing into the home assistants we can enjoy the, the local facilities and advantages so we are not depending upon the any clouds of the devices so that is the reason why we are flashing the the zone of that's original firmware which comes from the uh, the company from zone of we are flashing it with the ASP home with a custom component for TX ultimate touch switch so now I'm having the device flashed with the ESP Home in my hand. So I'll show you the interface of the ESP Home in Home Assistant. What all the entities will be visible in Home Assistant. Uh, let's see here. So first one is a Neo Pixel light, then the night light, then as it is a three channel uh, model. So we'll be having a three channels that is L1, L2 and L3. So we are having a three different switches for controlling L1, L2 and L3. And then as it is, as it supports a media player also, uh, here we can use it for the text to speech commands in our automations then it is a small vibration for ex for that we are having a small switch then what other all the binary switches we are having here is our long press multi touch uh, swipe left swipe right and three touch fields we are having these are all the binary sensors we are having using that we can do a lot of automations let's see one by one here so first one is like a neo pixel light we are having so as, as it is having an RGB lights uh, so ar around the panel, uh, let's uh, have a turn it on here. So it is in a, a blue color. If you want to change the color also, it is possible. So we can go here. Uh, we can change the brightness also. We can change the colors also. So that is one options we are having here. We can use it in a different automations. Let's see one by one. So then after that, we are having a night light. So that is totally a different thing. So we are having a night light. This here the color is fixed actually. So the here I have changed it to the green color. So this we have to change it in the uh, the programming and the ESP uh, the time also. That all also will be see one by one. Then after that we are having a three L1, L2, one L3 we are having. So this is the purpose for uh, the turning L1. You can see the indications of the uh, relay one here. So so below the channel one panel. Then so likewise we are having for channel 2 and for channel 3. So these are all the indications now. So now here the LED is not glowing that means that the first one is turned off. The two relays are turned on. So that is the case here. Then after that see, see those sensors actually the first one is a long press. Okay. So you just uh, see here if I tap it for more than 5 seconds. I'm getting a beep here and you have seen that the long press has gone to on then it came to off using this we can create a lot of automations the next one is a multi touch is like a so you can take a two fingers or something and if you're placing here you can see here uh, so the binary is is getting activated so likewise it is a swipe left so that means from right to left or left to right so swipe left and swipe right we are having first we'll uh, check the swipe left see here where it is getting activator for next one is for swipe right then touch field this is for first channel second channel and third channel so using that we can do the automation scripts we can write based on these conditions and also here we can able to change the colors now it is in night mode I will turn off the night mode here so the indications we are having here these colors can also be uh, changed based on our requirement so all those things we have to do inside the coding part I'll show you where we have to code it actually so once it is installed properly so we have to go to the ESP home dashboard so this is the thing which we are having you can go to edit here so this is the coding part we'll be having here so this one while attach in the description you can just go through it and also I'll uh, I'll mention the link from where I have copied these codes so already I have done this by seeing one of the tutorial from the YouTube that links also I'll be adding below so 
so whenever we are touching we can get an actions here for example for turn on or uh, turn off things you just see here so so now here below all the three lights are glowing that means that all the three channels are turned on if you want to turn off here just tap it here once you, you have seen here that the channel one is turned off this is for channel two and this is for channel three so here we are having so here we are having an led glow that can also be changed the different uh, uh, options can be changed here so now i have selected as a rgb like a rainbow effect i have selected for the touch effect so if we are touching here so we here we'll be getting a rainbow effect so this can also be configured so let us see the installation procedures for usb home in home assistant for that first we have to go to add-on and select the add-ons tool we have to search for esp home from the add-ons tool so select it and install the add-on in home assistant so it will take few minutes to get installed in home assistant once it is successfully installed there is no need for doing any configuration because esp home does not require any initial configurations now it is installed turn on watchdog then auto update and show in sidebar then start the add-on so we can check the log to see if there is any error if there is no error it is successfully installed so we can select the open web ui to go into the esp home so now we need to create the new device to be get installed in in tx ultimate of uh, sonoft brand so we have to give a project name so here we are giving it as a the tx ultimate give next then the board to be selected as esp32 once you open to see the file so this is the files to be uploaded or installed inside the the zone of tx uh, touch switch so this is the initial file once this file is installed uh, so when after that we can upload whatever the changes we need we can do it here the all the config all the configurations can be done here after that it can be uh, installed to over the air update so this is the basic on the initial files to be installed inside the uh, esp32 of uh, the tx ultimate touch switch in order to flash the esp firmware into the touch switch we need to remove the back panel so for that so if, uh, take the proper tools required to remove the panel so do it very carefully as it is very fragile so once the, the back cover is removed so we will be having a four sets of screws so first we have to remove the screws to remove the panel so here the very very important part while installing the esp home is that so after removing that we have to find out the so 3 volt ground tx and rx pins to be found out and also that you know that for the, uh, the initial booting uh, we need to ground gpi was zero to ground so there is nothing but it will be mentioned as a boot so at the time of installation so when we are inserting it so we have to ground the boot with ground so now all the four screws are removed so we can remove the back cover so inside which we will be seeing the circuits so this is how it looks like so we will be having a, we have to find out the gpio pins for uh, uploading tx rx and 3 volt and ground
so this is the uh, 3 volt then rx tx and ground pin is visible here and also so here if you see very closely so here we can able to see the the boot so once we are uh, dealing inside the circuits we have to be very careful we should not damage any any circuits inside that one so that we can avoid any damages so now we are getting ready to install the firmware into the uh, touch panel so i'm using a jumper cable rx to tx of the uh, converter tx to rx of the converter then 3 volt of the converter to the touch panel and the ground of the converter to the touch panel ground and also i have taken an additional ground so that i'll be touching the boot that is the gpio0 to be grounded at the time of uh, to get the devices into the booting mode to the uh, programming mode sorry uh, so if gpi was zero is ground at the initial of uh, thing it will come into the booting uh, it's a uh, comes into the programming mode so at the time of inserting alone we have to hold hold the the ground and boot once it is inserted we can leave the boot pin and remaining all the four pins should remains in a contact once it is inserted so we can go here so we can go for install so we'll have an option for wireless for the initial time it is not possible to upload our program through wireless so in the next option is plug in to this computer for devices connected via usb to this computer so now for our case we have connected the touch switch with the converter and we have connected to the computer so this is the option we have to use so here once you click here so we'll have an options to install so here i'm having one problem that my home assistant is not running on https if it is running on https here we'll have an options to install if you just click install the program will get installed into the esp32 of the tx ultimate touch switch so as it is not running on https so we have to go for an another option so what we can do is here we are having an option of download project so you just click here so project will be downloaded so after that we have to go to open esp home web so here we'll have an options to connect so here we'll get a the bridge controller will be shown here select this one and give connect so after that it will ask for the so web page, web page will open so here we have to click install so here we have to select the choose file and the file we have to select is the the file which we have downloaded so this is the file which i have downloaded select this file give open then click install so now it will get connected to the system and the will get installed and you will get a message of successfully installed once it is done we can install the software so I somehow i managed to install so now i'm having uh, uh, the files already done i'm changing the files here i have copied from the already previously i have edited file is copied here so only thing which you have to ensure is uh, from the other tutorials files we can copy the main thing which we should take care of is the that api keys and all those additional details though over the air password should be taken care so with the help of that only it will find out the devices in the network and it will upload the file so i'll i have i have given save as it is already installed so now what we can do is we can uh, push the software through over the update over the air update so i am going to validate to check whether we are getting any errors if there is no any others then the file is compiled and it is ready to upload through over the air 
as it will take few minutes depending upon the size of the program so here as little programs are uh, it will take some few minutes to get compiled So compile compilation is done. So now we can install. You click install wirelessly and we can wait for the program to get installed inside the touch panel so here also it will take few minutes to get it installed inside the touch panel so it will get compiled and all those necessary requirement actions will be taken all the files will be compiled and it will get installed so now the files are getting uploaded so we can see the percentages here so once it reaches 100 then the file is uploaded completely You can see the log file here once it is uh, started uh, started functioning so once you see this one then we can ensure that the device is connected into the network so the IP is as in here the name is also assigned so using that so we can confirm that the device is connected to the network So now the de device is showing online so now we want to add those devices into the integration part sometimes it will be discovered by itself automatically sometimes it won't so need not to worry about it we can go to add integration we can search for ESP home then here we have to give the host name or either you can give the host name or you can give the IP address if it is known to you if it is not able you can go to your router DHCP and you can find out the IP address then here we have to give the API key the API key can be taken from here you just select three dots and go to show API key sometimes it will show offline even if it is online uh, don't worry about it you just copy the API key from here and go back here you just paste it down here click submit so now click finish so now the device is added into the integration part so ESP home shows one device so we are having the device installed and it's working fine we can check here to check whether we are getting the log files updated yes the log files are getting updated to use all the features of the 30x ultimate touch switch effectively so we need to write an automation or a rules in home assistant to enjoy all those features so for that in home assistant i am using node for writing all my automations and sequences of operations so now for testing all the features of the zone of for tx ultimate touch switch so we'll go one by one the so first option on the automation which i am doing uh, or writing a program for it is uh, when we swipe from right to left we are writing a program so like in my living hall I am having the different sets of lights like uh, corner lights hanging light uh, focus light and main uh, ceiling light and also I am having AC fan and also I am having a TV so what is my requirement is whenever I enter into the room and if I swipe the touch panel from right to left I need all those appliances and devices to get turn on in a delay of two seconds as per the sequential order so for that this is how it looks like an automation in a node red so initially I'm putting a note for uh, so it, uh, 
uh, I'm having a small switch where whether if the switch is on then it will uh, uh, it will all those actions will get activated the first one is a turn on hanging light then with the delay of two seconds the corner light will get turned on after that with this delay of two seconds the focus lights then the delay of two seconds ceiling light then at the delay of uh, two seconds fan then ac then the tv will get turned on so here for ac and for the tv i'm using an ir blaster for uh, making it work so likewise if we swipe from left to right i want all the devices and appliances to get turned off in a sequential order so for that this is how the uh, flow will looks like so when the action is triggered the swipe left to right again it will check for the uh, dummy uh, input boolean button whether it is turned on or off if it is on then again automatically that the fan will get turned off first then with the delay of 2 seconds ceiling light then followed by focus light corner light hanging light ac then tv will get turned off so now i'll show you a small piece of video showing how when i swipe from right to left how those all the uh, lights and all the appliances are getting turned on so likewise when i swipe from left to right so how all those devices are getting turned off this is my living room initially all the lights and devices are turned off now i am swiping from right to left you can see that hanging light is turned on corner light followed by focus light then ceiling light followed by fan followed by ac then last tv as i don't have uh, as my already in my wall i'm having other switches are installed so for a demo so that i i kept the uh, devices on the table i'm just showing the demo so now we'll swipe from left to right to turn it off in a reverse manner you can see here ceiling light is turned off followed by focus followed by corner light followed by fan and ac followed by hanging light then last tv will get turned off so now we are writing an automation for touch field 1 touch field 2 and touch field 3 so as it is a three gang switch we are having a three switches so touch field 1 if it is trigger so we can uh, for that we can assign any one of the automations so for that what we are doing is when the touch field 1 is trigger so it will check whether the boolean button is turned on or off so you may have a doubt that what is the purpose of checking the input boolean button it's a dummy button which i have created so the use of the button is like so a lot of actions are programmed here so if i need in a case where even though if i touch i just want to control the none of the automation should not work so for that in between i am passing a one function or a node that it will check for the whether the button is turned on or off so here if you see here so the touch action so if it is turned on so only at the time all those automations will work if it is turned off none of the automations will work so for this purpose only we are having a touch action button so that is only we are seeing here so likewise uh, if the touch one the field is triggered so it will check for the input boolean whether it is turned on or off then so based on that it will toggle the ceiling light so likewise for touch two field i have assigned my corner light so likewise for touch field three i have assigned my focus lights to toggle as it is having only one field for one so we cannot able to put on and off so here that is the reason why we are so going for the toggle option so finally the multi-touch we are having so multi-touch is nothing but uh, if you are placing a two fingers or three fingers over the total surface it with the binary will get triggered so based on that we have written a function or an, an automations like so hanging light to get toggle on and off so now if i touch the first button it will turn on the ceiling light so as it was off so it was the function is toggle it turned on so now it will toggle so now it will go to off mode so now if i touch the second button it will toggle the corner light as it was off now the status is on so once again if i touch 
it will toggle so that the light will go to off mode then for third one if I touch it is programmed to focus light as it was off it is toggled to on so again if we touch it will toggle to off so now the hanging light is turned on which is programmed for multi-touch so if you are placing the two fingers over the touch panel it will toggle the state so it is now off so once again if I toggle with the multiple uh, multi finger it will toggle the state to on so finally we are going to write an automations for the long press action so for the long press actions what we have to do is we have to tap or touch the panel for five seconds so that the long press action will be triggered so for here for an automations you can see the flow as like once the long press action is triggered again it will check for the the boolean button whether it is on or off touch action if it is on then it will pass on to the next node that is a movie movie mode it will toggle the movie mode so uh, you just imagine that the movie mode is turned off so now yeah, i'm placing the finger for more than five seconds so now the the movie mode is activated and also the rgb color will comes to green color it will indicates that the the panel is in the movie mode so now what all it is uh, is automated is so few of the lights to be turned off and some of the lights like a hanging light should be turned on and the tv should be turned on and ac should be turned on remaining all the things should be turned off that is the conditions of the movie mode and also uh, in an addition to that one uh, so it is also integrated to make use of these leds so what additionally it is uh, programmed here is so we are bringing the the door sensor with a connection to this rgb lights in a what way is so as we are inside the home theater room so definitely we'll be having a uh, more loud noise so if someone opens the main door or if someone clicks the calling bell we may not be able to know inside the home theater room so so at the time if someone opens the door or if someone bells the ring this rgb lights will glow in a red color for 15 seconds and also at the same time the tv will go to mute the volume will comes to the zero percentage so uh, i'm just going to simulate here so now the the door is opened so the lights changed to red color so we can wait for 15 seconds after that it will go regains to the original color the whatever the color we have set it for the night mode so that is a movie mode that is a green color so now the 15 second is over the color is changed to green color so that the person who is inside the home theater will know that someone have opened the door or someone rings the bell so this is the cool features of uh, uh, using this touch panel inside the home theater room so uh, we, uh, there is not only we can use it in the home theater room we can use it at the whatever the places we need even in a bedroom also we can able to use this if we want to turn off the movie mode again we have to tap it here for more than five seconds so now what will happen is it will turn on the tv sorry uh, it will turn off the tv it will turn off the fan ac and will it will turn on few more lights and also it will go to the normal mode that means that it is not the panel is not in the movie mode so the last option is that so as usual the touch panel comes with the three l1 l2 and l3 so directly we can connect the loads of to l1 l2 and l3 and also directly we can use it from here so that is also an option so the one thing that should to be noted down is that if you are using the the touch ids like touch id 1 touch id 2 and touch id 3 at the time those all those threes are binary sensors which will tell you that if someone if if he touches the finger so at that time we have to if if we are in a position like in a mode that if you are using a binary sensor of a touch field 1 touch field 2 and touch field 3 at the time we have to decouple the touch panel from the relays so that means that if we decouple the relay from the touch panel so what will happen is so we may not be able to turn on the the relays inside this one through the touch panels through mobile we can tap the uh, relays separately and we can uh, get the actions of turn on and turn off but through touch panels we cannot able to get 
so at the time so we can use the touch field uh, binary and just one two and three for some other automations like which we have done previously so here you have seen all the automations here so for those all the things which i have connected here is only the line and neutral i'm just giving the power to the devices as here you have seen the automations i have i have used these touch panels only as a scene controller this can be used as a scene controller as well as if you are connecting the three loads here that can also be controlled so that's how the all the as of uh, here the most of the details are covered for this sort of tx ultimate touch switch thank you for watching this video if you like this video give a like button and give your comments in the comment section below if someone is watching this video inside india if you want to install on a proper smart home system and if you want to you are interested in a home assistant application and you want to do all those types of automations in noted all those things you can kindly contact me i'll provide you the sort of devices and I'll, and i'll give you the support for configurations and installation thank you for watching this video